My wife is literally my travel buddy. I talk about it all the time. And everywhere we go, we want to tell our story to others because there really is so much beauty in the world. Hello, my name is Dexter Mayfield. Hi, my name is Danielle Cooper. Hi, everyone. It's Vanessa Benjamin Mateo from RuPaul's Drag Race season 10 and 11. What I look for when I'm deciding to vacation is usually I like tropical, I like sun, I like beach. I need to understand that I will have fun, I will feel safe, I will have so many opportunities to discover things. Is the destination inclusive? Is it LGBTQ plus friendly? So we want to make sure that we're going to places that are accepting of us and also places that are accepting of our backgrounds and our cultures. You know, where I'm from, everything is so new and everything is so cookie cutter, suburbs, all of that. Even downtown of cities where people say, this building's so old, it was built in like the 20s. Like, so cool. The first trip I took with my wife to her hometown of London because it was the first time I'm meeting her entire family. And two, I got to see London through her eyes, going to get her fish and chips at some of her favorite places, going to watch her dad play jazz for the first time because her dad's a drummer um, and a rock and roller. The one discovery for me that is absolutely stunning is the Isle of Pines. It's almost a spiritual experience. The people were so welcoming. As a Black American, discovering Black people around the world is almost like a spiritual revelation. My favorite vacation ever was probably when I was asked to be the ambassador of Toronto Pride. It was such an unexpected surprise trip because not only did I get to pretty much lead the entire parade route, I also got to meet Cindy Lauper. I got to sing Bianca Del Rio happy birthday because we got invited to her drag show. It, it was just like my first Pride too. So just imagine how overwhelmingly beautiful it was. Being invited to the Savage Fenty show to go see Rihanna, even though I've been to New York several times, I paid out of my own pocket and everything. I went over there because they invited me. I kind of feel a little bit accomplished. That's somebody that I looked up to for a long time. So going to go see her show and everything, I was like, ooh, Miss Kia. When I met my wife's family, I kept in the back of my mind, what would this be like walking into a West Indian family where culturally our sexuality, our um, sexual orientation and identity is not very accepting. But once I met them, I didn't have to worry about who I was anymore because and they saw how much I loved her. And I think that that's really all they that mattered. Me being a bigger person and a bigger body, I do not care if I'm wearing something that is extremely revealing. Just being on the beach showcasing my body, I didn't get any judgment, I didn't get any stares, I just got smiles. Yeah.